hello guys welcome back to the Android tutorial uh, in the previous part we already see how to create an action bar in this part we are going to learn about how to create a response for the action a response for the icon present on this action bar so in the previous part we already create an action bar and we already place an icon on the action bar here it is a search icon so now I am going to create a response whenever user click this icon so I need to add some more uh, another icon on the action bar so here I am going to add a call icon on the action bar So copy first I have to paste it on the HTPA folder. Now here is the employable MTPI. Copy that. Paste it on the MTPI. For XHDPA, paste it on XHDPA. Now go to the double X HDPA, copy it and paste it on double X HDPA. So now I am going to add another item on the action bar. So go to the XML file, press and on the press and under the menu folder. So here I am going to add some more item. First, I have to give an ID for that item. Android ID as plus ID call icon. <coughs> I give it as call icon. Now specify that icon, and it is referred from the drawable folder. and here is that icon I see action call now specify a title for that icon it is referred from the string.xml file call title and finally specify the show as action option I give it as always now I need to add the string xml string resource call title on the string.xml file add a new string call title I give it as make a call okay this call icon so it is plus id okay now go to the main activity dot java file here for respond that icon you have to you have to create you have to uh, override another method called the uh, on options item selected so here I'm going to override that method on options options item selected so here I'm going to there are two icons are present so first I need to understand which icon is clicked by the user so for that I use a switch statement here so 
switch item dot get item id there is a method called get item id now i have to check for that each item id So in the first case, I am going to check it for r dot <coughs> id dot. First, I have to check it for the search icon. If user click the search icon, I just print a message using toast. get the base context click on the search icon specify a duration for the toast toast dot make it as long finally make the toast visible using the show method and return true for each case you need to return true for each case return true so in the second case r dot id dot for the call icon again I print the message using the toast click on the call icon here also I have to return true so finally I have to return that item so copy this and okay now we complete all the code for this project so for respond to the item click on the action bar we override the method called the on option item selected so in that method I just get an ID of each item use the get item ID method so here we just check the two item using individual case statement now we have to check this project so I am going to run it run as Android application open the emulator now you can see that there are two icons are present on the action bar first one is the search icon and now we recently add another icon called the call icon now I just click the call icon so here is the toast appear so I am going to click the previous icon the search icon so click on search icon guys this is how we respond and a click an icon click on the action bar please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial